G'day, welcome, my name's Harry. Just want to show you one of our new facelift Vito vans. So this is a 116 medium wheel base Vito. It's the mid-range model. It's going to be a bit of the workhorse in terms of the uh, range thus far. So we've got a triple one at the entry level, which is a manual 1.6 turbo diesel. This is uh, a two liter turbo diesel, 116. Pumps out a bit more power, got about 120 kilowatts um, out of this engine, plus about 380 newton meters of torque, so it's definitely an engine that will get the job done. There is, however, a 119 variant above this, um, which does pump out up to 440 newton meters of torque and 140 kilowatts. So that's the range. They do uh, change some of the standard features uh, as you go up the range, uh, but I'll point out a few things as I go. Uh, to mark with, with the face lift, we've got a few small touches. So they've got the chrome on the grille there, um, just smartening the vehicle up. You can get alloy wheels, so this is just fitted with the standard steel rims for the 116. You'll also notice the parking sensors on the front and back, so they're now standard on 116 models. And they all come with a high definition reverse camera as well. So there is uh, a short wall base available in the 111 only currently, uh, as well as a long wall base. This one here is the medium wall base. It's not a huge amount of difference between the long wall base and the medium wall base. I'm talking just a little under a foot. But as you can see, there's plenty of space in here. So there's about a little over two and a half meters going from the back door round down to the back of the seats there. Uh, this one here is fitted with what they call a cargo pack. So we've got the wood lining, we've got the wood floor with some uh, tie down hooks, you'll notice, as well as the bulkhead. Uh, it does auto also, sorry, add in the bench seat on the front. So we've got a three seater arrangement. So obviously that's not compulsory. Uh, you can just have the standard two seats. They, you can get comfort seats with an armrest and lumbar support as well. Uh, that you don't have to go over the bulkhead so you can walk through to the back of the vehicle if that's necessary for the configuration you're after and Obviously you can also get without the wood lining and floor So the benefit of that is that if you were setting up your own rig uh, for whatever um, job you need it for um, You'll be able to customize it the way you want it and there's lots of um, places in Australia which will be able to fabricate that for you uh, another thing of note in the uh, new Facelift models, we've got this new touchscreen in the centre here. So that's now as standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto throughout the range, which is fantastic. Uh, this one here, you can option in for inbuilt um, navigation as well. So we've got this, that on this one as along with the uh, voice command. Um, automatic temper control, um, steering wheel is much the same as before. We've got slightly different um, air vents with a little extra chrome around there. So, so just sort of smartening the cabin up. And then we've got this sort of nice shiny black finish around the uh, center uh, console area. Uh, in terms of other options on these, uh, you can get, um, so they all come with sort of daytime running lights, but they're all halogen, but you can get an LED daytime running light with multi-beam lighting, they call it, which is pretty smart as well. That is standard on the 119. You can also add in radar cruise control, which will adjust the speed of the vehicles to the vehicle in front if it's less than your cruise speed. Makes going in and out of Melbourne, particularly with that slowing down speed of the traffic, um, very, very easy. Uh, that is an option on the 116, say standard on the 119. We have optioned this one with the roof rails up there as well. They all come with uh, a, a, whole, a host of uh, safety technology, as you'd expect nowadays. So we've got, uh, active, we've got blind spot assist there. We've got uh, lane keep assist. We've got Thomas emergency braking. Uh, previous prior to the facelift, it was just an emergency warning system. Now it's an active brake intervention system, uh, so improving the safety on the veto. Uh, there is a couple of bit of um, uh, smart um, programs, if you like, uh, related to the electronic stability program and these as well, which is carried over from the pre-facelift model. So uh, all, all vehicles nowadays have a rapid firing of the brakes to uh, whenever there's a loss of traction. Um, these vehicles actually adjust how it's uh, using that intervent the braking intervention according to where you put in the weight in the van. So it's just adding to that stability. Includes rollover mitigation system, includes um, brake pre-fill. So if you took your foot off the accelerator, suddenly the brake pads actually bring themselves a little bit closer to the brake disc without applying themselves, just to decrease that um, time from where you may emergency stop um, and actually put your foot on the brake. So it just marginally uh, increases your uh, effectivity of braking. 
Uh, on top of that, you know, if it's wet, they'll actually skim off the water surface of the brake uh, disc as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on uh, underneath the hood of these. The reliability of these is just outstanding. We've got many customers coming through, and they've got hundreds of thousands of kilometres on the clock, and it's very difficult to actually get them into a new one, such as their uh, reputation. But this is just a quick overview. This is, as I said, this is a 116 medium wheel base in white. You can get a number of different colours. Um, there's a 119 above it, triple one below it, which is a manual only. This one's automatic. Uh, and yeah, different, um, lots of different options you can apply to these. So, uh, as I say, my name is Harry. We're Callaghan Motors Mercedes Benz. Uh, if you've got any further questions, if you want me to take you through anything, I'm more than happy to help. Uh, just give us a, give us, give us a call.